Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will show you how to make this pulse oximeter with Node MCU, and you can also view the data on the Blink. This project is already made by many of the creators out there. I just wanted to give it a try, so I made it. So let's get started with this video. For this project you will need any ESP8266 module. This is an OLED display. This is an pulse oximeter module, breadboard and some wires. Follow the circuit diagram to make your connections. Now connect your ESP8266 board with your computer. Now download this Blink application, click on new project, give your project a name, I am giving pulse oximeter. Select the ESP8266 board, click on Wi-Fi and click on create. Now first we will add gauge, we will add two gauge and then we will add value display. One will show you the BPM values and one will show you the oxygen level. We'll select the virtual 7 pin and we'll set the value from 0 to 130. You can also set the colors for this gauge. Now we'll set the other one. We'll add the same values in the value display also because they both will act for the same. Now we'll do for the oxygen. We'll select the virtual 8 pin and we'll select the values from 0 to 100 give it some color I'm giving blue and we'll set one second to all of them same we will do for value display settings with same pin that is V8 same values 100 one second and color that's it with the application now open the code first we'll enter the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password Enter your home's Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. Now we'll enter the authentication token sent to us by the Blink while making the app. And now we'll select the board that is Node MCU 12E board. We'll select the port and we will upload the code. So now this project is ready, just place your finger on the sensor and it will display the values of your pulse rate and the oxygen in your body. Similarly you can view these values on display as well as you can view the same thing on a smartphone on our Blink application. To make this thing portable, I have assembled everything on a PCB and soldered it. I have applied some hot glue to seal the connections. And now this is ready, it's very compact and you can carry it anywhere. It is powered with USB cable and it works the same.
So friends, I hope you like this video. Then hit the thumbs up button below. Share this video with your friends, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.